searchlights. There ain't gonna be no trains for a while. I was just joking about that. If you just saw wait there, that was the B&O, Baltimore and Ohio Railroad, Heritage Locomotive, being on X5-4225, heading towards Cincinnati, Ohio. Welcome back to Cincy Wells. Today we're basically going to do a trip to Cincinnati, Ohio area. Uh, from the 26th to the 27th of December of 2023. But, we're taking a look here at some old searchlights on the old CC subdivision from Corbin, Kentucky to all the way to Cincinnati, Ohio. And basically, X542-25 was basically profiled out of um, Corbin last night, but it never did at 6.55 a.m. And then now, it's here. So, it didn't work pedo, so that's the reason why it's got here so quickly. These searchlights are going to go by soon, so that's the reason why we decided to come over to Spray Lake, Kekeke.
If you guys cannot tell, this is Walden Kakeki on the old CNO and TP on the Norfolk Southern. So we decided just to come here, but the thing is though, we would only get three trains, and this is one of them. 123 is from Decatur, Illinois to Chattanooga, Tennessee. He would basically run down and the thing is though, I saw a weird DPU that would actually be on this train. I saw it when it was going to be going into a stop at Queensgate. But now he's going through here at Walden. We barely made it just for this one. Because after coming from Spring Lake getting the X542 and then we decided just to come over here just for a bit. I would thought we would only be here for a day, but we would actually not. That's our weird DPU of 123. I actually did see this weird DPU in Cincy. And that was the only part of the train that I actually did see, not the front end. And I know what this train is. This is basically 375 from Middletown, Ohio to Rockport, Indiana. It's a daily steel train from Middletown. Luckily today, it's not a very long train. It's not a short, but it's a medium-sized train. So it's not a very decent. I don't see this train often, so it could be changeable. I was flying the drone here at Walton because I didn't have any restrictions here. This is basically our third train, 189. 189 is a Oakwood Yard, Detroit, Michigan, to East Point, Georgia. He went over some NMs. I don't know why. But there goes a BNSF Jeevo as a weird DPU. I would have no idea what this symbol is for this northbound, but this would be the last train here at Walden for the day. We would not come back after today. We would go somewhere northward to go do some more whale fanning and maybe go out to eat, which is a good area. But I think this is 142, either that, 122.
all light. If you guys have not know what this location is basically is, this is basically Glendale, Ohio. Really never been here before, because either that I really never wanted to be here, or that I just don't know what goes through here. Basically, this set of tracks is basically the same tracks that goes through Hamilton, Ohio. And Y126 is heading back towards Cincinnati with a bunch of poppers in the front and one Tropicana Weeper car in the far back of the train. That would only be the one Tropicana. I have not really seen one in a long time since July 23rd of 2022. Now this is 142, bound for North Baltimore Yard along the Intermodal Terminal in North Baltimore, Ohio. We would just eat the restaurant next by to the track at, here at Glendale. If you guys do not know, it's been a couple hours since we saw last train. We've just been chilling here after eating dinner or lunch. L425 would come back from Cincinnati back towards Connersville, Indiana. Basically, he would take the Cincinnati Terminal and then Indianapolis Line and then up towards Connersville. Which, L425 is basically a daily local, but the thing is though, I've never seen L425 before. The thing is though, nothing really wants the Indianapolis besides L425 and 360 and 361. Those trains... 360 and 361, those trains could be a night one sometimes, but we really did not see one today, basically. Well, we're here, still. We're not going to be leaving for quite a bit anytime soon. After 560 would sit south of town for quite a while. And they finally get a signal and finally get talked by dispatch to go north. They were having some PTC problem. And the uh, lead unit was having a little bit of struggle. They were from notch zero to notch seven. And they were going a little bit fast, but whatever. Any, they were having some problems. So they're going to go over to New River to flip their power over. So the trailing unit would be 
I don't know how that would work, but whatever. There's an interesting Jeep that is trailing third. Yeah. Anyhow, 560 is a Queen's Gate to South Kirk, New York. So after 15 minutes 
gone by. The ninth well fanner has left and to go back home. While there, there was nothing for him to do. And after he left, another signal for a north northbound has popped up out of nowhere. We thought it was CS6352 from Louisville to Cleverland. But that would be wrong. This is NS122 from Cincinnati to Decatur, Illinois. I would thought it would be 352, but it's not. We would have NS power leading, which is 122 and that's heading north. After getting 122 and 352, which I did not get on film for 352, we would leave Glendale to head over to the hotel in Lawrenceburg. And the reason why I picked this hotel is because this hotel is right next to the Indiana subdivision. This is a whole new line that I decide, decided to capture trains on. Thing is though, I've been staying in Lawnsburg, really never got the chance to get anything. Either I ghost them off, or they just never win. But that will change tonight. M204 would ending up come from Louisville, I would get some heads up like later on the trip. And we came out, it's like 8.30 p.m. By the time I got to the hotel, it's like 7.30. And I was just giving some heads up that it would go by my friend's house on the Indiana sub. And... You would say, this was like 45 minutes before I was coming through here, it went by him, and I did not care what the power was, even if it was a Jeeva or not. I captured a train on the Indiana sub, 
really wanted to get something by the CPLs in town. But whatever. Let's get the 204.
after just getting his train, I would actually head back to the hotel and getting some sleep. Because by tomorrow morning, I would actually get up, get up, and I would just head off and meet my friend here in town. So we would head over to Hamilton. That is our next location for tomorrow. I would get some radio chatter, but we would have a little surprise that would come through here in town tomorrow morning. Okay, good morning. <laughs> we are outside of the hotel because we were just waiting for my friend to get over here. And I heard a horn unexpectedly because, well, throughout the night we would get two oh, trains going me. by. I don't know which one's the symbol they were, but they were both manifest. L453 would end up being wanting. My friend did not give me any heads up where it was at the time. And usually he knows all this stuff because he lives by it. Anyhow, I was in the hotel because it was cold, waiting for the sunrise to come up. And I heard a random horn. And fun fact, it was L4 complete. Heading to Metro, Indiana. But we're here now in New River, and this local came in with the caboose on the rear, and the Jeep is pulling into the yard. The so wait there, there was some really bad track, but the price, no one like none of the railroad workers knew about that, but whatever, they were just working the yard, and we decided, well, this is going to be our fun time here, we decided to head over to the Newcastle sub, Off. Now they're shoving their cars into the yard. Now they're driving. So basically, now we're here and on the NS Newcastle subdivision. And basically, why are we here? This is really perfect lighting for southbound. And I would get some heads up on ATCS that a southbound would head down. He would clear 7 mile and we're by 7 mile. So, the reason why we came over here, because, well, I don't usually get trades, NS, basically, on the Newcastle. This was basically a good time, because, not only than that, this was perfect lighting for Southbound. Even though I did not get my drone out, it's because, well, I did not know where to take it off at, even though this was a basically perfect landing for taking off a drone. I did not really know if this was a good spot to fly it at.
Alright, now let's get her out. Well, I decided to fly the drone here because, well, there okay. ain't really no restrictions here. And basically, I would get a really nice drone shot in the camera shot here at Oxford. Why are we basically here? It's because we're here getting 360 with the B&O Heritage once again. Even though we saw it yesterday, it was cool to see that we got some heads up later on this morning that it would be leading on 360. But now it's like 12.30 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon and here comes the B&O now. Well, there is a reason why we're here. This is basically the Indianapolis line, and really, I never really shot anything on the Indianapolis line. And here at Oxford, it's a really nice shot in a nice spot to be at. Besides, you have to deal with semi drivers and cars that go mock Jesus on the old country road. Even though with this open wide shot in the grain elevator shot, it's really nice to get and capture here at Oxford, west side of Oxford. We're back here at Hamilton, and this is going to be our spot for the rest of the day. And right after we get here, the defect detector went off north of town. So, we had a southbound, but the thing is though, this is 559, from Willard to Cincinnati. Had a whole bunch of coil cars up front. B is sinking. 559 is usually a night one right here sometimes. Depending on if it's the Australia and Desolate. The long one's there. 
and me trying to be a pro with the drone here. But I really tried because this is, I had this for like a few weeks now, so I'm still trying to fly it as much as I can. It's practice.
we would have another train and another southbound too. This one would also not be going south through here. He would take the NS connection, which he'll take the connection for NS. Well, 142 sometimes goes straight south go through Glenda Glendale and that stuff. But today, you'd be going through VA Crescentville sightings and VA NS today. Couple weed builds that are leading today. One, it's not a weed, fresh weed built, but the other one is. 7015's been out in service, but the 7272 then recently been out of web tech. I would thought we would have one more train before we leave here in Hamilton to go back home. Well, maybe. Maybe it is, maybe not. Anywho, I decided to fly the drone for this one since it's going to be my last flying time here at Hamilton for this trip as well. Boy, and I got some great chats for this whatever 263 or whatever intermodal this one is. We don't usually see an NS intermodal this late afternoon. Because, well, all the intermodals are usually in the morning that come through. But, we'll take it. Since we don't see much NS around Hamilton anyway. Well, we do, but they're all northbound and southbound, so they take the connection. This is what he's doing right now. He's taking the connection right now.
You know that NS connection that every NS take for Southbound? Well, I got this shot. I would have gotten it for the engines, but wasn't really planning for that till it was not right now. Anyhow, this is the shot that I would get at the tail end of the animal model. It's really good. I like it how I did the camera angle and the panning that I did of it. This is just some smooth and smooth quality video for my GGI drone. Anywho, I would thought we would have time to say goodbye to all my friends before we go home for the day and then the trip would be over. But I would surely be wrong. B710-21 would end up being our last train here at Hamilton. I thought the NS263 would be our last train here. Clearly I was wrong. This Athenol B710 is going to be our last one here at Butler Street in Hamilton, Ohio. I did not get in time to get the drone out because, well, I put everything away at the time. And I was taking p getting pictures with my friends before I was going away to go back home. But then we heard a horn, and then it came around the corner, and then that ended up being the B710. Well, I certainly had a fun trip for the 2023 Cincinnati area trip for the winter. And especially, just well at it, especially I have gone to three or four different spots for this trip. And, yeah, basically tore the Indiana sub and the Indianapolis. But for some reason, I only caught two trains on the Indiana and one on the Indianapolis. Because that, we were catching 360 at Oxford. And I was catching M204, L453, and Lawnsburg, Indiana. I will thank you for you guys for watching this video. And I will see y'all in the Michigan State or the Buckeye State Wells. Hey Brett. Hey Brett.